Well, welcome back, everyone. As you know, this is David Morgan of themorganreport.com, and it is issue number 13. Interesting, it's the 31st. It is New Year's Eve day, and again, the wonderful John Perez. John, you know, we had a pushback, and I pushed back. I said, look, you know, I love getting all into the deep hole. I like digging deeper, but, you know, we kind of want to verify this stuff. So, as you know, as a professional courtesy, I pushed back on it. So, well, you know, one tweet, where did that come from? Well, <laughs> 24 hours, a lot can change. You have got the goods for everyone to see. So let's talk about that briefly. Yeah, yesterday during our meeting, you know, you asked all the right questions. You talked about a tweet and you said, is there any way to uh, justify and clarify where this came from? And I did a little homework here and uh, I've got a nice, wonderful video clip uh, that you're going to love. And it has to do with January 3rd, Alan Dershowitz and Prince Andrew, who are on the docket to be exposed on January 3rd. And this is a video uh, in, in that tweet. We talked about the names that were listed on there were Jamie Dimon, Linda Rothschild and uh, Al, Gore. Al Gore. Al Gore. So uh, Al Gore has already been mentioned as a potential participant in at Epstein Island here, allegedly. Uh, so, yeah, I so I decided, well, this is good. Someone else nailed me and said, hey, Perez, you know, what about that tweet you put out there? I don't think that's a reliable source. I said, you know what? You make a good point here. So we like to confirm everything we do. So let's, I went and started doing some digging. And lo and behold, what do I find? I go to, I just did a little search. Fox News, Laura Ingram was interviewing Alan Dershowitz, who's on the docket for January 3rd, 2022. Victoria Guffrey versus Alan Dershowitz. And in that interview, Alan was very clear. We'll have the clip on here in a second here. He said, Jeffrey Epstein, no, it was Linda Rothschild who introduced me to Jeffrey Epstein. So <laughs> this was like a big rap. It was like, oh, that's a rap. Laura Ingram, Fox News, major source of news. And so what do we have here? Once again, we have the same players from the crypto conspiracy from day one. Make sure you go back and watch the entire series. Harvard, Harvard, MIT, MIT, Harvard, MIT, Bitcoin, Harvard. Now we have Epstein, Epstein, Alice Dershowitz. And now we have Alan Dershowitz saying that Linda Rothschild introduced him to Jeffrey Epstein. So, I mean, how good is that? question look i was introduced to him by the lady rothschild uh and then we have a couple of other clips that you're going to send us and put into this update yeah on the 31st with uh epstein's banker who's that oh yeah jp morgan jamie jamie <laughs> diamond talking about bitcoin's value what did he have to say well you know jamie diamond we know jamie from his fame in the silver market if you're a silver trader you know who jamie diamond is well he's he's also epstein's banker according to the new york times allegedly he's jeffrey epstein's banker of 15 years well that article was written in 2019 so it's got to be 16 17 now well fancy this here uh, i've got a clip jamie diamond himself epstein's banker saying bitcoin is worthless but I personally think that Bitcoin is worthless, but I don't want to be as close to it. I don't care. It makes no difference to me. Our clients are adults. They disagree. That's what makes markets. So if they want to have access to buy or sell Bitcoin, you know, we, it's hard. we can't custody it, but we can give them legitimate, as clean as possible access. We're adults here. We'll have that clip in there. It's really entertaining. And behind that, we're going to have Dan Pena giving his, his, uh, his Bitcoin opinion going to zero. If you knew who was really behind Bitcoin, really behind Bitcoin, you would run as fast as you fucking could to sell it. I know, 100%. If you knew who owned Bitcoin or who started Bitcoin, you, and you had Bitcoin, you couldn't sleep at night. I know, 100%. And when the real founder of Bitcoin comes out, it is my humble opinion, and there's nothing humble about me. Bitcoin will go to fucking zero. One day. And a, a microsecond, like that. So we got Jamie Dimon 
Epstein's bankers saying it's worthless. We have Epstein saying that uh, Bitcoin is not gold, but it's you know, a, repla a, re a storage of value. And we've got Dan Pena saying he knows who founded Bitcoin here. So we're going to wrap it up. The main thing here, we wanted to keep it really short here. Uh, first of all, I want to say Happy New Year's to everyone coming on board. Happy New Year's to David Morgan and all his people at the Morgan Report who have been f falling over and watching the entire series. Thank you so much. We're, I want to say this. David is heading towards 40,000 subscriptions on his YouTube. Go there and subscribe and hit the like button. He's almost at 40,000 subscribers here. But this is kind of a happy New Year's, New Year's Eve short one here. But we're going to wrap it up with this. I'll repost the document in there. We're going to have the January 3rd document, Victoria Guffrey versus Alan Dershowitz. And this is going to get this is going to get very interesting. January 3rd. Will it come out January 3rd or will they play shenanigans? Will they move it back? Will they move the goalposts? And along with that, today is the last day of trading for silver. And so what do we have going on here? The big story floating around out there is 800 million ounces of silver and Bank of America. Uh, where is that? You can find that story on SilverSeek right under David Morgan's 2022 Silver Outlook. So go to SilverSeek. Check out David Morgan's Outlook and then come down a little bit. You'll see an article there by Ted Butler and 800 million ounces of silver. What is going on over there with 800 million ounces of silver? I keep repeating that for a reason here. That may have a big effect on what happens with silver in the first quarter of 2022. Thank you, John. Let me on uh, behalf of our interviews just wish everyone a happy new year very interesting 2022 coming up and uh i'll give you one final question here who did the most this year 2021 the white hats or the black hats <laughs> the white hats did all the heavy lifting and nobody can see it as executive order 13818 says there will be no notice and there will be no warning so just have it at that. How do you know, think of it as a quiet, under the table, military operation, night vision. Not everyone can see at night. The clues are out there. Plenty of news out there. Don't look for it on the fake news. It's all out there. Things are happening. 2022 is going to be a wake up year for a lot of people here. John, I really enjoyed uh, establishing a relationship and now considered a friendship between you and I, and of course, we don't have to agree on everything. You know, I push back and you know my thoughts on a couple of things in the silver market that are different than yours. But regardless, adults can have conversations and be better for it. So I appreciate you, all you've done. And we're going to continue January 3rd, first day of the new year. We're going to bring in a Bitcoin uh, archivist that really knows his stuff. And we're going to drill down even faster and deeper than we have already. Start off 2022 with the bang. Wish everyone a great weekend, and we will be back. Yes, Happy New Year, everyone, and thank you. And by the way, if you haven't joined Telegram yet, go to Telegram. You'll find me at Silver is Money, at Silver is Money. We will see you on Telegram, and make sure you subscribe to the Morgan Report. Thank you, John. Okay, thank you.